Yumi Steins and Kerry Ann Kennelly butting heads on Studio 10. It was during a discussion about the Australia Day protests that happened over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, so basically, Kerry Ann was all for keeping the original date, but her reasoning as to why didn't sit well with Yumi. If you missed it, here's a little recap of what happened. What about the 5,000 people who um, uh, went through the streets making their point known? Has any single one of those 5,000 people waving the flags saying how inappropriate the day is? Has any one of them been out to the outback where children, babies, five-year-olds are being raped, their mothers are being raped, their sisters are being raped, they get no education, what have you done? I'm sure it, that is not even a faintly true, Kerry, and you're sounding quite racist right now. Oh, oh, I'm offended oh, by oh, that, yeah. Yumi. Okay. Just because I have um, a point of view, Yumi, doesn't mean I'm racist. Yeah, you're, you're actually connecting rape, uh, child abuse. You're also implying that those 5,000 protesters, none of whom you know personally, are all lazy and idle and indolent. I did on not this. say yes, that. Yes, because you're, you're, you're asking me. Yeah, you're asking don't, me if any of them have ever done anything, as though it's clear that they line. haven't. No, don't draw a line that isn't there. That's the line. I see it quite clearly. Yeah, well, get new glasses. I'd be getting the liquid paper out on that line. I'm not sure because I didn't watch it. Yeah. But it sounds fascinating. Well, um, Yumi took to um, her socials to say that she won't be appearing on Studio 10 today. She Why? was going to, yeah. but um, she's decided Let to... Let it settle. Take, well, no, she said that this is not because of what happened today between Carrie ann and I. I'm feeling stable and calm and like I'm on the right side of history. Everything is okay. Yeah. I'm not coming in because I really urgently want to lie around and do nothing. It's very important. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, we can read between the lines she's there. She's funny. Uh, so we have Yumi joining us on the phone now. Oh, morning, hi, Yumi. Yumi. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, look at you in the hi. middle of a blow-up. I love these blow-ups. I know. But Who hey. would have thought? Here I am again. What, um, have you spoken to Kerry ann since this blow-up? Yeah, like we were in on set for four hours. That show goes forever. Yeah, it does. It's <laughs> or something. It goes till midday. So, yeah, she's, fine. she's been around forever, right? She's, yeah. she's like a cockroach. She, she can't be extinguished. Oh, hang on. Let me just write these down. The, I'm just trying to think of the Daily Mail headlines. She's like a cockroach. She's been around forever. Well, I mean, she's invincible. You know, she is an Aussie TV legend. And she knows how it goes. So you have a blow-up and then you have a conversation afterwards. It's, uh, it's actually more scary when you read about an argument in the paper afterwards because it sounds so much more vicious and personal yeah. but in actual fact when you're face to face it's totally fine. I agree. I think when you yeah. do read it in script form you, you can't see the uh, intention or the tone or you can't get the flow properly so when you're True. reading transcripts it's never the but same. But has she, has she sort of backed down from this and, and changed her view at all or is she I don't think by? so. I, I think she was on one of the right-wing stations yesterday, um, just backing up her position. Okay. Um, which one's the right-wing station? Please tell me which one it is. Um, 2GB. Oh, right. Yes, right, right, yeah. Should yeah, we ring her up now? Maybe, maybe we'll ring her up while you're here. Up <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Oh, Pedro, get, see if you can get Kerry Anna. Don't get, try, don't, don't get Pete to ring her because she won't answer his number. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'll, hang on, forget it. I'll just dial her in here. So is she on Studio 10, Kerry Anna, today? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, right. She is? Oh, she might be. Yeah. She might be there on set. Hang on, let's try and ring her. We uh, haven't checked this. Yeah, I mean, it might go bad. Hello. Hello. Hello, it's Kyle and Jackie and Yumi. How are you? Sorry? It's Kyle and Jackie and Yumi. Oh, hey, Carrie Ann. Hi, hon. Hi. Sorry to ambush. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got Yumi on and we, I just found out what happened and I thought the only, only person that can fix this is me and Jackie. Oh, absolutely. I don't think there's anything to fix, though, Kyle. Well, that's what Yumi said. She says, hey, you both yeah. had a different opinion. Then you have a conversation afterwards, and that's what yeah. most people need to do, get together and have a yeah. conversation about things. Look, and, and while that said, um, I am still deeply offended with being called um, a racist, <laughs> which is completely untrue. Listen, I'm about to go back to it. Can I just put you on the Oh, page? yeah, put us on hold, yeah. <laughs> Carry on. Very good. She's very busy. What is she's going back on air. She's, she's on still TV dirty now. about being called. Oh, hang on. Is she sitting on set? Is she sitting on set live? Well, yeah, the show's on. Oh, oh Jesus. She, she's like me. She's got a phone right there. Get on her for answering, yeah, at least. Yeah, absolutely. So no bad blood, though, between you two. Well, you never no, know. No, but that's the thing. That's the thing, Jackie. It's it's not about uh, the personalities because we're both professional and really I don't think we'd give much of a shit really yeah. about 
uh, about the twos and fro's between two humans. Yeah, and I'm more about the ideas. Oh, Carrie Annie, you're oh, back Carrie with Anne's us. Oh, Carrie Annie's back. Hi, Dal. We just watched you on TV with your phone in your hand. Classic. Oh, so, yeah, sorry about that. I think I've got my wrist slapped. <laughs> no, no, you'll be fine. Are you really? Got three minutes. What, um, what the heck are you doing there and why aren't you in here? I thought you wanted to stay in bed. No, she is in bed. Oh, we rang her up. Oh, okay. That's all right then. But look, debates do get uh, a little heated. Uh, but uh, to me, it, you know, and I honestly can say, I think it crossed the line when somebody calls you a racist, uh, because obviously, uh, to me, uh, the, the words I stated are fact. They, uh, a racist is somebody who thinks another bunch of people are inferior, yeah. uh, which is not what I said. I said there is a lot of abuse. And you're also saying that therefore those people shouldn't be protesting, that they're wasting their time when they should be out fighting rape and abuse. You can actually do both things. Another thing that you said was that was was that Aboriginal people should just it's it's really really an insensitive thing to say. And drawing on your own past as uh, the daughter of I think migrants is a really really whack comparison. It's a totally different experience to being disenfranchised the way Indigenous people have. Now, Colin Jack, just to be clear, the reason I didn't go on the show today was because it's not for me to argue Indigenous rights. It's actually really, it's really inappropriate. There's plenty of qualified and really brilliant Indigenous people uh, to make that argument, and I think Kat has got one coming on the show today. We've got two, as a matter of fact, uh, Jacinta Price and uh, and Lydia Thorpe. So we, I actually just. It's 2019. How come this issue has not been solved before? Enough money has been thrown at it. At it. What is the issue? We have two Indigenous people. And I am very sorry, Yumi, that, that you didn't come in to be part of this because it is an important debate. Um, but I'm back on in 40 seconds. Oh, but, you go, um, Kerry Ann. You do your thing. Okay. <laughs> I love Kerry Ann juggling national TV and national oh, radio oh, together. No. What a true legend. <laughs> But anyway, uh, you and me, we are all grown ups. But yeah, I was highly offended and and uh, hurt by it. So you know that that's the way it is. Um, I'm probably way too sensitive, but uh, everybody has a point of view, and I think we all have to recognise that the only thing I seriously want is to have the issue solved. No child, no woman should, in fact. <laughs> Gotta go, guys. Okay, See you. Bye, Karen. See you. Oh, she left it right up to the last minute when she had to go on air, you mean you didn't get a right to reply. <laughs> well, that's, that's a true right. pro right there. <laughs> 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 that's the sort of thing I'd do. Gotta go, see ya. The, um, yeah, gotta I said my bit last word. Bye guys. Uh, uh, Yumi, nice to talk to you. But hey Thanks for having me. I on love here. I love healthy debate about issues because if we don't talk about things, mm -hmm. things don't get solved. Hey Kyle, do you know what I love? What? White people telling me about racism. <laughs> No worries. Well, you know, we're, uh, I'm affected too when I'm out driving around and I get people yelling out, Hey, Skippy, you're doing 150 Nobody in a 60 says zone. That. Nobody no, says that. Nobody says that. My friends no, do. They really don't. I'm trying to no, relate, do. but anyway. Good All right, Yumi, thanks for chatting to us. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.